Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's lesson, we are going to focus on how to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So, paano nga ba natin gagamitin ang formula na to in order for us to solve quadratic equation? So, in solving quadratic equation or for us to be able to use the quadratic formula, dapat yung equation natin is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Let's have our first example. x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Ang unang step natin is we need to identify the value of a, b, and c. Saan manggagaling yun? So the value of letter a ay manggagaling kay x squared. The value of letter b ay manggagaling kay 5x or the middle number. Ang value ng letter c ay manggagaling sa constant natin sa equation. Okay, so yung letter A natin is equal to 1. Bakit 1? Because the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. So therefore, kapag walang coefficient sa x squared, the answer would be, or the value of letter A is equal to 1. For letter B naman, we have 5x, so the value of letter B is 5. And for letter C, we have 6. We need to plug in this value to our formula. So, this becomes x is equal to negative, ano yung va ano value ng letter B natin? 5. Kaya nilagyan natin ng number 5. And then, plus or minus square root of, anong value nga ulit ng letter B natin? 5. Good. Kaya yung B squared, yung letter B, pinalitan natin ng 5. Minus 4 times, ano yung value ng letter A? 1. So, we have 1 here. And the value of letter C is 6. So, we have 6. 4 times 1 times 6. Kasi we have 4 times A times C over 2 times A. Ano yung value ng letter A natin? We have 1. Kaya, 2 times 1. Simplifying this one, this becomes negative times 5 is negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 times 5. We have 25 minus, kasi 4 times 1 times 6 is 24, kaya meron tayong minus 24 divided by 2, since 2 times 1 is 2. Simplifying this one, copy lang muna, negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 24. The answer is 1, okay? Copy lang natin yung denominator. And then, square natin, or kunin natin yung square root ng 1. Kaya naging negative 5 plus or minus 1. Since the square root of 1 ay 1 over 2. After that, separate natin siya into 2. We have, ang una muna ay yung plus, plus sign. And then, yung pangalawa naman is yung minus sign. So, this becomes x is equal to negative 5 plus 1 divided by 2. Ito muna yung isolve natin. This becomes negative 4 over 2. Bakit naging negative 4? Since negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, kaya mayroon tayong negative 4. Divided by 2, negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. Or, yung value ng x natin ay equal to negative 2. Sa bottom naman, negative 5 minus 1, this becomes negative 6 over 2. Simplifying, this becomes negative 3. Or, x equal to negative 3. Let's have another example. 2x squared minus 3x is equal to 4. Sabi natin kanina, in order for us to use the quadratic formula, Dapat in the form siya ng ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, si 4, i-move natin sa left side of the equation. Pag minove natin yan sa left side of the equation or pag transpose natin sa left side of the equation, nagbabago yung sign niya, it becomes minus 4. Ano yung next step? We need to identify the value of a, b, and c. So, the value of our letter A is 2, since the coefficient of 2x squared is 2, and the value of letter B is negative 3, and for letter C is equal to negative 4. 
and we need to plug in these values to our formula. So, I'm requiring you to memorize or familiarize the formula para mas madali ang pag-solve. Okay? So, this becomes negative. Ano yung value ng letter B natin? Negative 3. Kaya, minus. Kaya, we have negative times negative 3 plus or minus square root of yung letter B natin. We have negative 3. Pinalitan lang natin yung letter B ng negative 3 minus 4 times the value of our letter A is 2 and the value of our letter C is negative 4. So, yung letter C, pinalitan lang ng negative 4. Yung letter A, pinalitan lang ng 2. Divided by 2 times A. Ano yung A natin? 2. Kaya we have 2 times 2. Simplifying, this becomes negative times negative becomes positive 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 times negative 3. Ang sagot is positive 9 plus 32. Bakit naging 32? Bakit naging plus 32? Because we have negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 4 is positive 32 over 2 times 2 is we have 4. Simplifying this one, it becomes x is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 41 over 4. Meron bang square root ang 41? Wala. So this becomes... So we have x is equal to 3 plus square root of 41 over 4. And we have x is equal to 3 minus square root of 41 over 4. This could be our final answer. Or we can use calculator to find the square root of 41. Okay, try this. Solve this using the quadratic formula. Okay, you can post the video. And answer key will follow. Okay, this becomes. And the answer would be 8 and negative 6. Thank you everyone. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any question. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.